the ball. An injured man is the person, I believe, who made the reception, Breedlove, and he's going to come off the field under his own power. He'll be back on. Ball marked at the 42-yard line. It'll be a second down situation from that point. Second and four. There's the snap, hand off to the left side. Running back this time, number 31, Larry Wilt. Myron Carter coming up to make the stop. They're shy of the first down again. will be third down in about two. Throw that ball. 0 for 6 in third down conversions. Third down and two. Up to the line of scrimmage. Single wing in the backfield. Formation. There's the snap. Fake handoff, not going to hand off to Allison. He's got the first down, crossing the midfield right down to the 47-yard line. Don't come to me, Jay. I don't know where the ball went. I'll... Let's watch Tommy, it. Let Tommy come in on this play. Let's watch well, it, it went to number 40. You can see him going right through that hole there, just as easy as you can. I don't understand the problem. I mean, they just <laughs> gave it to him, and he took off. That's the only play, really, they've had success with on the ground. I did see that play the first time. If he granted... Uh, Surprises me. Power right and right, hand off again to Allison, and he stopped pole at the line of scrimmage. Second down, maybe gained a two. Second down and eight on the play, making the stop for good faster, Butch Nixon. He's one of the captains tonight. Jay, I love him to run that same play back to the other side that ran two plays ago, or even throw the ball. Seems to be the only successful uh, plays they have. Second Save down and eight. There's the play, and they're going to come back up with it to the left side this time. Jim Greenlaw gets away at the 30, and it's not down at the 21-yard line. Kevin called that one. He said he's going to come back with it. Well, they've been successful in very few plays. I feel they come back that uh, double trap here to the uh, opposite side that they ran two plays ago. Look at this character. Free love, 22. 23, that's Breedlove made a, and Mitch Pilkington made a great tackle to save a touchdown. It would have been six. Breedlove, though, made a tremendous second effort. 23-yard pickup. Goodwood's ball is driving. Ball at the 22-yard line. First down and 10. There's the snap. Allison's going to run it himself, and he's pointed and pinned down. That was Butch Nixon in there. I think Allison knew Nixon was coming in there with a lot of steam. Uh, looks like Allison kind of wish he'd gone the other way. That's... That's a hard lick here by number 50, Butch Nixon. Clock runs, 3.13 remaining in the third quarter. Butch Nixon on the stop, 14 to 7. Nixon is a 190-pounder senior, and Allison is a 150-pound sophomore. Well, I don't blame him. I go the other way, too. He's going to pass it, don't he? Second and nine. There's Same. the snap, and 31 getting through there. Larry Wilk will get inside the... I tell you what, the band from Gillis was playing, the fans are, are yelling, and uh, it seems like a lot of action is going on right now. And, uh, if I was Gillis, well, I, good faster, I'd call time. I'd see if I couldn't slow the tempo down a little bit. The ball is at the 20-yard line, as Wilt carried it. It's a third down and eight situation. See what they come up with here. See who the quarterback is. Kerry Patton probably get the ball. He does. Quickie pass over the middle. Incomplete and almost intercepted by Ricky Rooker. Almost picked off. A little quickie pass. We saw it a bit earlier in the ball game, and we'll see it one more time on the replay. Well, he uh, didn't want to pop it over to the tight end right over the middle. He chose to uh, have the tight end do a release pattern. It, that was a good play by Ricky Rooker. I, I'm surprised that uh, the secondary didn't get suckered in that time. Fourth down and eight now. Now they're three of five in fourth down conversion attempts. There's a good athlete. There you see Patton, Patton talking with uh, Coach Smolin, and he, Coach Smolin's got some headphones on that are coming right up here beside me to Mr. Doug Newman, the assistant coach who was a head coach here for one year when when Mr. Smolin took a sabbatical leave, I think, for a year and studied on his doctorate. That's Went to Ole Miss, Ole I believe. Miss. David Lee, Steve Sloan down there now. Good friend of Tommy and I. Next Friday night, Nova continues its look at sports with a special on the new sports medicine. Nova, next Friday night at 8 o'clock. And immediately uh, at next Friday night as well at 10, at 10 o'clock on Channel 8, Bellevue versus Brentwood Academy. Fourth and eight, big play here. Quarterback Patton, there's the snap. Going to hand off to Allison on the right side. He's cornered, trapped, fumbled the football, and good pass to has it. The 
we'll see it again. Allison, a simple give to the right side of the field in big number 89, Daryl Benson. There he is again, Tommy. He's, he's really played well, offensively and defensively. Uh, there'll be some colleges after that guy. There already are, but there should be some more of them watching him tonight. He's, he's really played well. First down and 10. Again, Goddard's for drives, gets close, but this time does not score. Hand off to the first man through, Philip Myers. Myers, as you saw, gained a couple of yards. Second down and eight, Tom Griffin on the stop. And again, you see Goddard's for getting close, but no cigar. That's true. You know, you mentioned Tom Griffin uh, making the tackle there. We are watching a great tight end in Denson, but uh, this Tom Griffin is a fine player too. He's playing both ways. He's just a junior. He's a big kid too. He'll be a college prospect next year. And I know his dad's on the vice squad, Metro vice squad. So there's the snap going back to pass Sandy, rolling to the right side. Taking over here complete to number 42, Greg Tenner. And Tenner was rushed out of bounds close to the 40, about the 38 yard line. Keith Miller is the man who bumped him out, but he'll have first down yardage. And Kevin will see it again. They send a back that through the uh, into the flats at time. Fake the play action pass, sent Greg Tennell out in the flats and watch him here. He's gonna try to put Coach Smaller down, I believe. <laughs> they might win if they put Coach Smaller out. Well, I don't know. Coach Smaller's a pretty tough guy. Uh, I, I saw him got, get hit, by the way, when he was at Ole Miss. He was helping them coach, you know, while he was down there studying, and he got hit one one time on the sideline for the Alabama Mississippi game. Now, I tell you, I thought he was killed. It was the hardest lick I've ever seen. He was somebody blindsided him during warm-ups. His warm-up, his own player. 13 well, yard pickup. It wasn't an Alabama player. Right. It's a good thing it was an Ole Miss player, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? 13 yard pickup on that particular series. 117 remaining in the third quarter of a 14 to 7 ball game. Goodlitzville is leading Good Pasture. Tommy is. Uh, good Pasture is leading Goodlitzville. And here we go. First down and 10. The 36 yard line. Split back to the backfield. He's going to pitch out to the left side, and the ball carrier is Myers. Philip Myers gets across the 40, out to the 43. He had some pickup yardage that time. Keith Miller is the man who made the stop. Gain of about five. It'll be second down and five. 69 yards now on the night for Myers and 14 carries. At Piercy. Looks like a midget out there, but he can play a defensive end. He's he's made some good plays to, tonight. He, he, he made a good play there. He actually is the one tripped him up. Jay Colley, Tommy Squires, and Kevin Temple with you on a cold, chilly Friday night. Split back to the backfield. Quarterback is Sandy. There's the snap hand off to the first man through. He's trying to get over a tackle, and he didn't even get to the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier was Vaughn Elder. His first carry of the night goes for Knott. Big Jim Cantrell made a big hit on him in and sort of ran right into him. Looked like he could have got either the quarterback or the ball carry. Now we have a third down conversion attempt, and they're one of five in that category. Nine seconds remain. Third quarter. There's the snap. Quarterback going back to pass. Sandy in the right side of Pennell, and it's complete. Uh, shy of the first down, I believe, and that's the end of the third quarter of play with the score. Good pasture, 14, and good... About six turnovers. That's two fine teams going head-to-head -head tonight. 542 remaining in this one. Wishbone in the backfield, hand off to the left side. Running back, Johnny Moore. Moore gets out to the 30. You've got 30 seconds, Jay, in between plays to run a play, huddle up, and get back over again. I imagine they're going to use 30 seconds every time they get up there. We've talked about the difference between single A and double A, and we've mostly seen triple A teams this year, but this crowd makes as much noise as any triple A team that we've seen this year. Well, we're talking about a community school here, and there's people here not only from Gullicksville and uh, Good Pasture, but Madison and Greenbrier and some other places. Springfield. Second down and five. Hand off to the left side. Hits it across the middle. The running back that time was Greg Pennell. And Greg worked his way forward to about the 37-yard line. We'll see Pennell's run again. Well, he's a sophomore, and uh, there's a trap play. I don't know who that was going down the line trapping. Probably uh, Neighbors or Steen, if Steen's in the game. Keith Miller made the stop for Gillespie. 